Hey guys. Hi Momo. Hi Aditya. Hi Little Buddha. Hi MG. Hi King. Uh, Pred. Hey Lone. Hi Arya. Scott. Abbas. Ratchet. Uh, uh, how do you pronounce your name? M U. I'm just gonna say M U Q. <laughs> Hi Taro Road. Hi Skull. Uh, how do you make your Falcon Ember build strong? Um, what I would usually run on something like that would probably be like a nuclear amp and two repair amps or two balance units. Um, I'm assuming you mean regular Falcon, right? Or are you talking about a T Falcon? The Jaeger yesterday was killing all the enemies. Yeah, I think I just got lucky though, but that only works against like randoms. Uh, if you play against strong players, it won't work. Hi Dark Phoenix. Hi Chad. How am I? Um, a little bit tired. <laughs> Still kind of waking up. I had my cup of coffee. But I think I'm gonna need another cup later on. Hi Kill. Hi Motivator. Hi Lego. Hi Noob. Hi Zimblast. Your favorite robots, which one? The Scorpion? We're gonna take a look at the Scorpion. I might run like a combination of different drones and modules for it. Uh, because like I've said before, you know. Um, oh, you watched me play Fortnite uh, 2. You haven't, uh, I haven't streamed that. I'm waiting for my new PC to come back. Yes, it hasn't come back yet. I'm actually gonna contact the guy after the stream. Uh, just to see how things are. Balance units. You could use balance units. Um, it gives it more health and uh, damage. Remove that annoying Kepri. Now I'm going to use that. Um, it is the meta. The same like the Seraph. You got to remember, I'm going up against you know some of the really strong players in Champion League. Um, obviously, you don't bring a knife to a gunfight. <laughs> if you're playing in the lower leagues. You would do the same thing, you know, like you would equip your Erebus with like your strongest weapons. You wouldn't run out there with a Cossack, same thing, just different league. You're talking about a, oh, you're talking about a T-Falcon? Um, if you have a nuclear amp or even like a thermo nuke, you could use that. Um, balance units, overdrives, you could do that as well. The thing with a T-Falcon is you don't really have that much firepower, it's just one weapon. And you don't really survive for very long. It depends on what your enemy is running as well. Hope I live stream every day. Uh, <laughs> it's kind of funny that like I didn't really want. <laughs> Hi Casey. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really want to live stream every day. I wanted to do videos because I don't know. It's just better for my channel that way. Um, but it seems like a lot like the live stream, which is weird. Uh, Stan, what is the what is the meta now? Um, I would say mostly Seraph and Kepri, for sure. You usually see multiples in like the top players' hangers. Okay, we're gonna get started here because this is only like a one-hour stream, and I want to get some gameplay in. Seraph users are very annoying. Well, hopefully we can take out some Seraphs. Okay, so I have um, I have a Scorpion here. Uh, this is maxed out. So uh, I'm just going to show you the stats of the uh, the Havoc and the Scatter. Don't discuss, man. I'm sick and tired of uh, Cossacks. I used to run, I, to I told you right, when I used to uh, farm gold, this was way back in 2014, I used to play Cossacks every day for like 8 to 10 hours for like 6 months straight. I'm not even kidding. Just so I could open up like the 5 hangar slots and yeah. Players think grinding now is bad. Back then it was really bad too. We didn't even have ads back then. Grand Balance Reactor affect the Titan balance, uh, Titan damage. I think it does. Okay, so what I have here, I have anti-control nuclear amplifiers, two of them. Sometimes I do nuclear amplifier, uh, two of them with uh, either balance unit or repair. And if I want to make my scorpion stronger, like I'm noticing it's dying quicker, then I would use one nuclear amp and two repair amps. Okay, so we're going to be running that. Uh, here's the pilot skills. So I don't, I don't use like, sh um, you know, the shot grouping for like havoc or scatter. I don't think it's needed for something like a scorpion or revenant for that matter, because when you teleport, you're right next to the enemy. 
How is the Nightingale Champion League? Uh, you will see it maybe in lower champion, but definitely not amongst the top players. Def yeah, it's not enough firepower. Top players used to run it before, but it was more just to hold down uh, beacons. So someone actually recommended I use like Whiteout Drone, and I can use that so we can do a comparison. So on repair unit defense, on repair unit damage, uh, two of those chips on my damage absorber. Hi Roger. Live stream is the meta. Well, I mean, I don't mind doing live streams, it's less work for me. But I like, yeah, I like doing specialized videos too, because especially if it's like a guide or something, I think it helps. It's just easier because I can condense uh, the content. Hi King, hi Eric. Okay, so the whole purpose of the Scorpion, um, one thing you gotta notice with the Seraph, a lot of players tend to use like sometimes double repair amps on here, which stacks the uh, resistance. With the Scorpion Sonic weapons, it will bust through that resistance. Like you can't, it, it does great damage. Okay, so I'll just show you what I have here. I'm not going to go through the specific setups. Going to try out, someone is asking for the Behemoth Viper. So I'm going to run that in today's stream. I'm not going to do the Harpy with the, the, what was the other one? Decay and Hazard. Yeah, because otherwise I have way too much range. Okay, hold on a second here. Which... <laughs> Can I... Bring hover. Some actually like they say bring it back to the meta, but it was never meta to begin with. Uh, should you buy a third cinder on your Minos or anti control? Um, what are you running for the third weapon? Is it like a squall? It might be worth just keeping the squall there. The anti control is kind of really important though. Uh, let's see. Oh, we got the good spawn. Wait a minute, there's no one going to center here. Uh -oh. okay, I'm just gonna, yeah, there's no ways I'm gonna get to center. These guys already got the center. I was hoping someone would go there and I could link them, but... Oh man. I'm going up against a few of squad. I have no one here to link to. I'm trying to see where my teammates are here. Hopefully someone can help me. This guy's just pushing me all over the place. Their whole team is here. Guys, help! Actually, wait. I think my teammates are pushing their home. Holy crap, their whole team is here. Man, where the heck is my team? Okay, we got one. I need to get rid of the Skyros. Yep, there we go. Maybe if I move this way, this guy will back away. Ouch, ouch. Oh, man. Uh, okay, let, let's try the, let's try the Scorpion now. Let's see if we can try to find a Seraph here. Uh, I should have gone to the other side. Whoa, this guy, you see he linked. Oh man, we're gonna lose, we're gonna totally lose that beacon. No one dropped there. I might get killed here guys, because there's four players. Let's see if I can try to teleport to that, that syrup. Here we go, got him. That's the first kill. I was actually lucky because there's four guys here. They could have easily killed me. I'm going to lose the scorpion. There's no ways I'm going to survive against four guys around this. <laughs> we got one kill though. Lucky kill. Ugh. Mm. I 
trying to see if I can maybe use the corrosion on here to kill this guy. Oh my! That corrosion. Whoa! Okay, that kind of worked. We need to push another beacon here. I'm not sure what my team's gonna do, but maybe we should push the, the dam. Man, I love these weapons. This version, the Ardent Viper, looks really cool. Uh oh. <laughs> They're bringing their Titans here. Shoot! Wait, how did we. We lost another beacon. I don't know whether this uh, this Kepri down. Must get close. Oh shoot! This guy's gonna get off the beacon. Don't get off the beacon, dude. Don't get off. Don't get off. Okay, let's move. Let's move towards this side here. Let's see if I can take out maybe this uh, Luchador. Oh no, they have an Indra, another one. So it's gonna be me versus this Luchador. Let's try to get him to possibly use his ability. I'm gonna try to see if I can maybe move close. Let's give this guy a heal. Let's do that. on this side here let's see if we can try to get this uh oh I'm trying to use my lasso ability oh hey kind thanks for your donation morning adrian and adrian nation oh. <laughs> i didn't have much help at center when i first pushed there we got it we got a seraph kill though guys he was kind of on the well. He had like half health. I think we were down a player. Game room. Wait, what is game room? Is that my games? What on earth is this guy running? Is he deliberately tanking? Hold on. Guy's tanking. Because I was looking at his damage and his his damage average. It's almost deliberate. What do you think of Sharanga Basilisk? Accelerator anti two cannibal. Um, I think if you're running Bastus, I wouldn't use the the Titan accelerator. You don't really need it because you're firing from a distance anyways. So better to use a damage module instead. Hi Slayer. Hi Gasper. Hi Riddick. Some more Scorpion gameplay. Maybe I should have put like maybe I should have put like two Scorpions. Although, I don't know if I have enough gold to train another pilot. Hi, Keeper. Can only play it like a pick-off hot... Uh, a pick-off... I think you mean bot? That map isn't a good place for... Well, I think any build that you have should be good on all maps. It's just when you drop... When you drop that bot in, like where you decide to, and then the timing makes a... It's a big deal. Uh, hi, mac and cheese. Tankers dropping leagues in your lobby. I know, right? Yeah, that guy was definitely tanking because he had like a five. Like his max damage was five, but he, his average was only 800. But I'm looking at his bots and it's like deliberately weak. He's in master three. So you know that he's probably tanking. Oh, it's a 
pity I can't see what the enemy has. We'll start off with the Kepri first. Uh, let's link to this guy. This guy immediately goes in the flight, he looks at me. Pretty sure he's... Is he watching the live stream? He might be. We got that right side. I'm really only dropping in that that scorpion when I see that they have um, the seraph out. I kind of have to use it sparingly because if I drop it in now and I get killed by something like a harpy or something, and then all the seraphs come out, well, waste of a butt. Ooh. I'm gonna link to one of these guys. I'll link to that guy. I'll link to this one here. Let's get this guy out. There's a guy over here somewhere. Oh, oh, hi. <laughs> he just dropped by in the middle. This is weird. I don't see any seraphs. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have a Seraph now. Now I can actually see and now I can plan for it. So we have at least one Seraph out. Wait, that guy. I'm not gonna aim at him. <laughs> I'm saving him. Saving him for when I drop it with my Scorpion. Like that. Ooh, that guy's shield's pretty strong. No! Uh, is this a Seraph? I think that's a... S no, that can't be a Seraph. What is that? That's gotta be like a Harpy or something, right? Wait, did we kill this Seraph? I'm not sure what happened to that guy. Or is it this guy? What is that? No? Go figure, when I'm trying to find a Seraph, I don't see any. Play any other game, you see tons of them. I could actually heal quickly. Oh shoot, guys! Damn, we're gonna get five cap. I wanted to use my ability early and get that shield and then teleport back, but I think I <laughs> a little bit too early there. You know what, I'm gonna attack this left side, see if we can get this beacon here at least. Or wait, what is this guy in? Yeah, we're gonna go for this player here. This is uh, Fenry, I believe. Ooh. He hit me really good, but look at his health. Took a chunk out of that dude. We need some beacons ASAP. I might have to ditch this because we're giving up too many beacons here. Um, let's just do this. I'll try to attack this guy. Maybe I should go for this, uh, this Miramids. 
Wait until I have my heal so I can amplify that damage. And then we'll attack this guy here. Here we go. Let's see how much damage we can do to this uh, mirror mitt. He's turning around. That's how much it hurts. Whoa, look at his health. I think he already lost the weapon. Gone. Oh man. Ouch. He's hitting me. Guys, dead. Let's move for center. Shoot, that guy teleported. What is this guy in? I think one of them might. Wait. I think one of those guys might be in a revenant or something, right? Yeah, this guy. <laughs> it actually did really well. It did really well, but I think we need to drop in with our Titan. We need to get some beacons back here. I'm gonna push the... Oh. Okay, I gotta be careful of this player here on this right. Yeah, this right flank, he's, he's got a mirror mitts. Sorry, Manda. Man, he's healing my all the, the damage I'm doing. There we go. I actually want to push here, but I need players to stay on these beacons for me to push. I can't use my ability. Come on! I don't think we're gonna win this guys. Doesn't look like it. Game's almost over. Hold on. We got a four cap. Actually, wait. Maybe, maybe I could win this. It's gonna be close. I need to. I need to go for that fur beacon quickly. This is gonna be a really, really close game. Actually, wait. Oh no. This guy's. Oh no, he's gonna phase X on me. I have to sit on this beacon here. Just make sure that he doesn't turn it. Come on, guys. We can still win this. We just need a five cap. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! This one next. Just do that. This guy's gonna push him off. Push him off the beacon. Push him off. Push him off. Ah! Come on, dude, get the beacon. Are we getting it? Are we getting? Oh my gosh, this is so intense. Oh man, where did this guy come from? Holy shoot, this is close. Guy. Oh man, did we win? We lost. Oh, we won! Yes! <laughs> Holy jeez, that was close. I thought for sure we would have lost that. We actually won it. Wow, nine beacons. Crazy. <laughs> that was intense. I was like, I better get out of that scorpion here. We gonna lose this game. We pulled it off. There's a chance, Adrian. Move your butt. <laughs> I didn't think, but my team actually pulled through towards the end. That was exciting. Wow, that was really, really close. That was that was crazy close. You know what? I think if we didn't do a four cap, we would have lost. Whew. 
that was <laughs> need to take a break after that game that striker didn't do any damage to me kind of looked like it actually shot through or something i don't know we only just you know what i actually thought we lost but then i realized wait we got four beacons so their beacon bar would have gone down we were changing the fifth one <laughs> i was trying to push the guy off the beacon Actually, I was hoping that I would lock him and then push him off and then the Skyros behind me would have kept it. But then I didn't see that they had a, a Luchador there. Now that's a game. That was crazy. Um, the Scorpion with Mage and Kajal. Yeah, that works too. I just actually prefer the Sonic weapons because it has great damage, right? So if you do great damage, it can't heal up unless there's like a Mend or something nearby. So I prefer that. Whoa, 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 don't carry all the way. <laughs> Kepri uh, Express. Oh man. I was hoping uh, this guy would go to the left side. That's why I linked to him. Now we're going to lose this beacon here. Oh shoot. Oh no. Oh wait, he landed outside of the circle. Yes. We'll use, a, we'll use the uh, Revenant to charge up my nuclear amp. Wait, what? That didn't even do anything. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. 91 stacks. We got it, guys. We got it. I had to use my ability here because there's no one here to link to. Let's get this guy. So clip this guy's wings here. There we go. Come on, switch. Oh, oh my, he just popped. KFC popcorn chicken. You guys have that in the States? Hold on, hold on. You know what, I should just turn this beacon right here. I'm like on their home beacon. No one's fired at me yet. Scorpion looks really confused. <laughs> if this guy, if this guy uh, blinks back, he's gonna realize that, wait a minute, he's given up his home beacon. Yep, he's finished. Um, you know what I'm gonna do now? Let's do this uh, scorpion time. So any guy that's flying, which is probably maybe this guy here. And I just hope that they don't have scorpions that teleport to me. <laughs> Give me a dose of my own medicine. Okay, this guy has landed. This guy might be... He might be in one, actually. Because I didn't see... Uh... Yep, he is. Bye-bye. The thing is, this thing packs such a punch, they don't even get a chance to react. <laughs> the only thing you gotta be careful of is another scorpion or a revenant. If they get behind you. Ah, uh, wait. I'm gonna go for that half heat, I think. Let's go for this guy. He sees me coming. Yep, it happened so fast he couldn't even use his ability. By the time he turns around, he's finished. We have more players here on this side. What is this guy in? What is that? What is this guy in? Oh man. I'm gonna pretend I'm running away from him. <laughs> man, he's actually healing all the way back up. Come on! He's lost a weapon! Heal that! Yes. Thing is, this is also really good against some titans. Although I'm not sure about this one here. Let's just activate this. Take chunks out of this luchador. Watching my ability blink back! Quick! Yes! <laughs> this 
gonna be some teamwork here, guys. I can sense it. Oh man. Oh no, this guy's going after me. Ah! Oh man. You know, I almost had you. Blink! <laughs> I'm trying to confuse him. Try to confuse as much as possible. Oh! Uh, huh. Let's try this. Oh. Can I lock him from here? I was gonna use this to uh, to lock him, and then that corrosion can hopefully kill him. Man, we had a really good run with that scorpion though. Uh, oh jeez. Oh man, they're all gonna come through the teleport, guys. That teleport. Are they pushing through? I think they're gonna come through this teleport here, right? Or are they gonna push? No, they're gonna push this home. We're gonna move this way. I think this is a Sky Rose. Yep. Waste of a mothership. I just used it anyways, just to see if I could get some, some shield there. Ugh. Well, we got a couple of Sarahs. So we got a Harpy as well. Hey, Dominic. Always interesting to see who else is not working on a weekday. <laughs> you know, it's funny. I remember when I'm like looking at like our clan's activity caps. I'm like, wait a minute. I thought you work, but they play, like, some players in the clan play more than I do, yet I cover the game, go figure. <laughs> Your scorpion is causing all these guys to make pee, -pee in their panties. Keep getting that, uh, that ad thing, that error. Actually, no, that's not an ad, that's from the news, it's not working. Uh, the current meta better to run the uh, Typhon with uh, Sonics or the Scorpion. I think Scorpion's gonna play a bigger role because it's like with more Seraphs out there. I noticed they have a Scorpion. <laughs> they have a Scorpion back there too. This guy here in front. Wait a minute. This guy quit. What? Come on now. Yeah, they have a they have a Scorpion on their team. What on earth is that? Oh. Ooh. I got a link to this guy. I just hope that my teammate covers that side there because I have to help this guy. I don't know why my teammate moved off the beacon. Dude, come back here. Grow some balls. You guys get that joke? <laughs> Dude, get onto the beacon here so that I can hold off. Jeez. Nerf the scorpion. <laughs> you know, they probably get a do. It's not really that. Like, if, okay, so even if they were to nerf, say, sonic weapons, so what? Then you just get the other weapons. Yeah, I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push this side. This guy's hiding. Yep. Oh jeez, this guy, he has shield break. What is, oh, behemoth. Oh my. There's a lot of stuff happening here. <laughs> I'm just trying to hold this down. I'm gonna drop in with the scorpion next. I'm just looking to see what targets I'm gonna hit. For example, there's a, there's a typhon on that right side. This guy, I believe, is in a Typhon. 
I don't know if I can get close enough, but if I can kill him, it will be better for my teammates because then he can't, we won't get EMP'd. There we go. Get rid of him. Oh, shoot. Take out maybe this leech. someone up top? I think there's someone up top. His last stand was triggered. So I'm gonna attack him. Oh. That was a bit of a waste. There we go. There's this player in here. This guy's got a shield. Typhon? Uh oh, he's flying above us. I see the eyeball. Bendy bullets. By the way, this spot is really good for uh, those that have bendy bullets too. Yep, that just happened. Man, I think... Oh, there's another guy here. Wait, what is this guy in? Shoot, five, four, three. I need, I need to get there quick. He's changing that beacon. Hurry, hurry, hurry. No, no, no. Oh, teleport. He's looking around. He's like, wait, my health. <laughs> yes, beyond godlike. Nice. That was so brutal. Uh, hey Sullivan. Oh, they were down a player. <laughs> Cheaters suck. Twenty-eight percent. What are you running, dude? I don't know if he uh, is deliberately leaving, but looks like he either wasn't able to drop in or just left. No, it's not you lagging, it's YouTube. Wait, is the stream lagging? Sorry, I'm just looking at the chat here. I just saw like lag. Wait, my stream's not lagging, is it? What the heck happened there? That's weird. <laughs> Says my CP resources, OBS, usually it's like 28%. I just saw like negative 14,000. How is that even possible? Maybe it's OBS. Hi, Bismarck. Best way to charge up the North Light? Um, it's gonna depend on your weapons. Like certain, yeah, certain weapons charge it up quick. Um, trying to think like which, like I know punches do. Usually it's going to be weapons that fire a lot of particles at the enemy. So even something like actually, you know, Punishers could do it. <laughs> Fine, 28% that guy is OP. I mean, he had a max out hanger, did he not? No lag that in? Okay, good. Yeah, I wasn't sure because I saw like lag in the chat. You guys saying lag? Wasn't sure. I just linked to this uh, Skyros here. Oh man, maybe I should have started with my, my Scorpion. I could have got some K 
kills here like this guy here with see he he has overdrives i could have totally like probably killed him he didn't have a last hand and a link to this guy here so one thing you always want to do with the seraph you always want to kill them when they land because they don't have like resistance for them to survive they will need to have like really stacked up chips drone chips and also modules Uh, we've got a Fenrir here to help, but I'm not sure how much that's gonna help when I'm dealing with this guy. Oh, come on. Really. Die! There we go. <laughs> Man, this Fenrir. Keep healing, dude. Keep healing. Maybe I can lock this one. Ah. I can't turn. Oof, too many of these guys here attacking me. This guy here. There we go. Oh. Where's my uh, scorpion? When this guy lands, remember when he lands, you always want to attack when they land. This way there's no escape. See the chunks? <laughs> no more health. No more health. Boom. Gone. Thank you. We're gonna attack this one here. I'm just waiting for my ability. We've got eight seconds. He is within range though. The problem with this guy though, he has a shield. So I have to make sure I get through that, that shield. So we'll do this. He's turning around now at this point. He's like, oh shoot. Gone. Yes. That's two of them. Oh shoot, the whole team just dropped in here. Totally worth it though. Yeah, they're gonna kill me here. Just do that. Oh! I tried to see if I could teleport. <laughs> uh, let's use the behemoth now. Oh, this guy's name's Adrian too. Wait, can I this guy here? Woo, look at your health dude The thing is I need to reload so that's why I'm just firing here quickly. I need a full clip because there's a skyros on the side uh, Oh, yeah, he's got a white out too Trying to lock him down Get that corrosion in Use that heal Oh, this guy's almost dead. I need to reload, reload, reload. Come on, I've got the perfect counter. Uh, I can't turn. They use a gravity amp on me. That corrosion might kill him. No, it's not. Guys, where is my team here? There's a whole lot of players here. I'm trying to focus down that Skyros because he's going to run beacons on us. There we go. There we go. <laughs> this game's actually pretty intense. And we have another we have another seraph there. I'm worried about all these skyros though. They're running a lot of beacons on us. Woo. Yep. Mm. 
we still we end up we have one beacon. Wow. Uh guys, help. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna have to go for that that mirror mitts here. We need to push another beacon. But I think they are botting out. It looks like they might be botting out. So if I can kill the like at least one of the titans. I need to just keep pushing these beacons here. Let's kill this guy. I'm gonna put that down. <laughs> Adrian on Adrian violence. And lock this player. He's gonna land right in front of us. Uh oh. I think this guy's... yep. Oh, come on. Still holding this beacon down there. I don't want to leave it. They only have one beacon and it's the one that's down below, but that's a bad beacon to have. Mask get closer to that side. We gotta kill this guy. Now he's dead. Let's drop. Does he have another? He has another. I'm gonna put that down. I'm gonna lock him outside of the circle. Amazing how you can never fight me or Aiden, but you're North American. North American. Well, you won't be able to find Manny. Manny's on the European. For me, it will depend on your league too. Oh, we got the Master Crate. Um. Oh, I have vipers, yeah. So the person asking about my behemoth, I have vipers on it. You actually have different vipers. So you have the regular viper, which is... I don't think... I think I sold that. Let's see if we can find it in the store. Um, it is this weapon over here. So you have the regular one. Then you have the ardent one, which is the one that I have. And then you also have the candy viper, which is this one over here they're all the same i just like the ardent one that looks cooler when you fire it, it looks cooler okay so this might actually be my last game and uh, don't forget guys, if you do enjoy the live stream, make sure to leave a thumbs up. It helps the channel out a lot. Uh, we have over 300 viewers right now, so 170 likes. Tough crowd. What do you think will be in the chest of the next special event? Uh, Deputy the Mars robot. Um, the... Uh, what is that? That new weapon again? I keep forgetting. The Mars robot and that new weapon. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember it because when I tested it, I wasn't that impressed by it, so <laughs> it's like erased from my memory. Uh, that will be probably there. I would imagine, oh, the, the new Endra, the Kraken one, also the limited edition version of the weapons I think they had. Um, wasn't there rumors about the pilot too? You know what, I think they actually have it on their site. Yeah, I think, I think they have it on their site. Sorry, I'm just trying to find a game right now. The one that shoots... Do you guys want me to run the... Oh, never mind. <laughs> Dropped into a game. I was going to ask if you guys want me to run the uh, Candy Viper. You know what I like? I like those ones though. It is a lot of fun to play that because... It looks like it's shooting snowballs. Maybe what I'll do is I'll use that when like winter time comes. 
Okay, I don't know about my team, man. Oh wait, we have someone going to center. Yes, I should have linked to that player. That player knows what's up. Yeah, I was actually gonna link to. Oh no, guys, guys, oh, not not to. Why? Okay, you know what? I'll let the Sorachi go. I'm gonna link to this player here because we need to get we need to get as many bodies to the uh, the center as quickly as possible. That Skyros has got to move on to that beacon in case um, that Seraph dies. Or he moves off the beacon. Oh shoot. I'm gonna help out. I'm gonna link to this quickly. It's, we're, we're here, we're here. This is good. Okay, so we got that beacon. They got our they got a home though. What I'll do is I'll link to the seraph if I can. This guy should link to that seraph so he can fly quickly. These guys are going to the back. Wait, what is that? That's a shell. I need something to counter a shell. Um, this counters a shell. Oh man, I took this guy's clothes. <laughs> he was looking around. He's like, guys, where should I go? <laughs> I'm like thinking, dude, you better make up your mind quick. You're not going to have much of a bot left. Oh, man. I actually left that to protect the farm. Yeah, I got to make sure I get this guy. Let's do this. Oh, he timed it right. He has a beak on here, too. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I think he might drop in here for revenge. No, he didn't. Okay. Okay, so at least we got this beacon back. Thanks, thanks, kill demo. Oh shoot, that's not gonna work. Oh my gosh, yeah, bad idea. I'm trying to get across here though. Oh shoot. Wait, was that the same guy? Use cover, use cover. I can move this way. Too many of them. Whoa, 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 whoa! I had to use this. I didn't know. I just grabbed the first bot. It might work. Uh oh. Yes! <laughs> you should have gone into bomb mode and pushed me off the beacon. Good thing you didn't do that. Oh no 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 no! Open a strike! Man, that was like his revenge kill. Oh no, two Capri's. Oh guys, we need some help here. Okay, I'm gonna have to attack this guy. See if I can knock that shield of his down. I see what he's doing. He wants his other buddy to get across there. I'm trying to move back. Even if it means sacrificing my scorpion here. I'm trying to think what bot I'm gonna drop in next. It's gonna have to be. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to stay on this beacon. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, guys, this might be a little bit overkill here because we just gave up all our other beacons. If we're all here, what about the other? Uh. Uh. Oh. I'm 
He's trying to get closer. Hold on, dude. Hold on. Here's the heal. Don't jump away. Did he get the heal? Oh, jeez. He just got it in time. Oh. Now that was close. I'm trying to see if I can charge up my um, my mother ship as quickly as possible here so that I can give this guy another heal. Okay, let's see if we can maybe do this. Is he still alive? Dude, don't push. I'm sitting on his head. <laughs> oh, this is another guy. That's another player. Um, you know what? Maybe I should attack this side and get this guy here. I'm gonna use this only because I'm just delaying things if I can do that. My teammates here, so I can use my ability. Let's just move this way. There we go. I'm gonna use a lasso on him now. I think maybe my teammate should try to go for another beacon here. We can run the beacon bar down. There we go. I think he's gonna do that. Let's just drop the heal. Whoa, four versus five. Um, we're losing the other beacon. Actually, wait, we've only got. Uh oh. Okay, this might not be good. I think I have to survive here. You'll have to hold down, the two of us will have to hold beacons down for the next minute or so. Shoot! We have no more players left. Uh, I have to hold this, I can't leave this beacon. You know what, I'm gonna try to see if I can reload. He's trying to hold that beacon. Uh, yeah, I can't leave this beacon at all. If he has another beacon he ha or another bot he has to drop in. I didn't want to use my ability. We'll see if this is going to be enough. I don't think so. Yeah, we gave up a lot of a uh, lot of uh, bots and beacons. He's going to he's going to have to try to hold this down. It's up to this player now. I don't think we're gonna win. Yeah. It's tough to win from this spawn though. Usually you had a disadvantage because the other team is closer to three beacons. Do I like the sh uh, Shenzhen's new look? I do. It looks a lot better than before. Have you seen what Shenzhen used to look like when it first came out? like a massive improvement. Wow, there's a close game. Well played, Reds. Whoa, he has another bot? Man, that guy... The thing is, I don't think that guy was camping because he was the one that went to center at the start. He was the, he was the only one that pushed. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't get to the center. Uh, you can't join the Discord. You should be able to join. 
Uh, oh, thank you, thank you, Davis. Eddie says MK3 aphid is worth it. Looks, it works with shield break and the blitz spot. Um, so Davis, I don't think I would MK3 aphids. That's just my personal opinion. I wouldn't upgrade it. I don't think it's worth the resources. Even if you use shield breaker. So one of the weaknesses of like aphids, vortex thermite, um, you know, any of those weapons. Um, what is the other ones for the uh, the titans? You have the these ones here, the Kisten and Bulava. If you have bots that move very fast, it's no point running it. Because one way to avoid getting like you like missing completely, if you see someone firing at you, just move left or right. And they will miss like 80% of their rockets or their missiles. Yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't level them up. It might work in the lower leagues, but definitely won't work in high high level. You have a champion league account and a free-to-play account in Master. Just believe me, it's not worth. It. Yeah, it's not it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Uh, hi Sura, which country are you from? I'm from Canada. Originally from South Africa though, but I'm living in Canada now. Okay, so anyways guys, back to the Scorpion. It's a pity I didn't get like that last game. I wasn't really able to use the Scorpion to counter Seraphs. Because our home beacon was being attacked and I had to kind of drop in just to protect it. Um, yeah, what do you guys think of what what do you guys think of the Scorpion build? It's pretty effective, right? So basically, one of the things that makes a Scorpion really effective against Seraph. Uh, well, the first thing is the Sonic weapons, they're very effective because the Seraph, when it drops down to the ground, it usually doesn't have resistance. Um, even if that player is running two repair amps, um, you will find that the Scorpion will, in most cases, do a ton of damage, like especially with the Sonic. Um, but what makes it so deadly is that teleport. So if you think, if you apply that now to like a Revenant, Revenant, same thing. You can teleport to them 350 meter range, you have Sonic on them. If you combine it maybe with the white art, I didn't use the white art, but if you use that, that could work as well. How do you get the absorber shield chip? Um, you just, you build, uh, not build it, but you buy. I don't mean with money. You don't need that with money because I, I got a T3 chip on, on the baby account using like no money spent. I just save up my gold. Um, so. Yeah, if I was on the BR account, then I can show you more how to do it. But basically, you go to the store. We don't have any here. If you don't see it here, then don't press refresh. This is why those players say pay to win. Because they press the refresh and they burn through all the gold and they're like, this game is so pay to win. Don't use refresh. If you're going to do any kind of refreshing, use the ad. And if you can't re refresh anymore, then leave it. Then check back the next day. What you would then do is you would buy the blue chips. Uh, go for the on mount damage absorber if you find it and then you collect um, I think it's 10 and then you combine it you have to collect 10 if you collect 9 and you have a random chip you're not going to get that absorber shield as a t3 and it actually this way it actually ends up being cheaper if you do it I think it's like if you if you buy the purple shield chip I think it's 2000 what is it is it 2250 yeah, so if you do it the other way, you end up actually saving, I think it's 1,300 gold if you do the other way. But what you're doing is you're actually saving. It's on time. It's based on time. How to get components fast? I just build the components. Usually when you're building something, Usually when you are building something in uh, in workshop, quite often I find like for me, I get it like in the office, but I'm not building anything right now. I just noticed this when I was doing it on the, the baby account. $25, $35 a month coins and follow his guidance. In five years, you can reach master. You don't even need $35, uh, Fernando. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I could reach um, pretty sure I could reach like master one if I was playing often I could probably reach master one 
I would say in maybe six, six months. I don't know, it's hard to compare to when I first started uh, doing the, the baby account series because in all honesty, we actually get a lot more resources now and it's just easier to streamline things. Because back then, okay, so I'll show you what I mean by that. So first of all, when I started the, uh, the baby account, we didn't have supply center. So you tend to get a lot of uh, silver and keys from here. And the, the keys I would use in the black market. But back then we didn't, I don't think we had the black market. And if it was, it was an event. It wasn't like an actual thing with keys. I don't believe it was. We have operations now. We didn't have operations back then. So all the, uh, all the resources I get from those two alone is quite a bit more. Um, we didn't have all these, uh, we didn't have all these like offers and stuff here with the ads. I don't believe we had that back then either. Um, the bonus daily and the clan toss. I don't think we had this or not as many. So we get gold and platinum from here. Um, and then I get gold and silver when I reach certain levels of workshop. Right. And then, yeah, we get a lot more keys now because I remember I struggled to get like this was way back then with the black. Do we even have a black market? I think we had a black market, but it wasn't. It was more like an event. So technically all of this I would have, I didn't have, I didn't have that. We also have leaderboards, which we don't have it right now, but you get resources from that. I didn't have that either. And even, and even something like, I know there's, a, this is like a lot of players may disagree with this. Even something like, um, the boosters, which we have back then, I remember I would like use 30 minute or like one hour boosters cause I got it for free. Like, um, you know, I might have won it or, you know, perhaps it was like in the office or something. I would pick that up and I would activate it, but I only play like one or two games. Right. So a lot of my boosters went to waste as well. So there's a lot of stuff that you get. Remember ads for 30 minutes or, oh, and the other thing too, that you're forgetting, we never had, um, upgrade overdrives. So I was paying the full price for everything back then. We didn't have 25% off or like 40% off. You know, when you start to factor all of that in, it actually accelerates your ability to build things a lot quicker. Like more than you realize. The Fenrir in the super chest. I think some were asking about that. Uh, is the Armadillo drone worth the price? I don't even know what I, I think I saw it here. You know, for me personally, I just stick to Nebula or something. It depends what you use it for. I think that's a decent price for it. Um, I actually don't use the Armadillo. <laughs> so I think if I had a choice between Armadillo and like Beak or Nebula, I think for me personally, I would probably do Nebula. Find titans or like weapons. I think we get more platinum now too, because they have, they have some platinum in like the black market, and they also have it in the uh, the supply line. We didn't have that either back then. But I remember when I started my account, I didn't even we didn't have titans. Twenty minutes per ads. Ooh, I don't know what it was. Um, there were no drones, no titans, only something like 27, uh, bots. Yeah, we didn't have drones and stuff, uh, back then either. But, you know, Eric, I would still have drones now than back then. Because I find the drones really help my bots. Because, uh, back then, you know, I still would go up against high level players. But the thing is, um, like I can use like something like a nebula and I can put it on a weaker, like a weaker Erebus or something to keep it alive for longer. I didn't have that luxury back then. It makes a very big difference to some of the weaker bots. But 
But we need to build the whole Fenrir in the workshop, which takes a lot of time. Well, you know what? Time is money. <laughs> what you're doing is you're paying for time. A lot of players think that when they buy it, they're going to win. They, they really don't. <laughs> they have no idea. What you're doing is you're buying for time. You're buying the time. Like the saying goes, time, time is money. That's what you're paying for. So that you can get it quicker. It doesn't guarantee you're going to win, right? Some, a lot of players think they're going to win. But then they, then they realize afterwards, once their account is maxed, that's why they say this game is so pay to win. It's like trash because they, you know they probably spent a lot thinking that they were going to win, but it didn't work. Thanks, Keeper. For an Ar uh, Armadillo drone? Armenia drone. Wait, which drone is that? Skullcrash, he did it on his baby account and started with just four slots. Finished it after two or three weeks and that's not long in the game. Yeah, I remember... What is the best value for your money in War Robots? What it means what do you buy that is most valuable? Thanks for the answer in advance. Um, Best value... I'm trying to think. It depends on what you're going for, really. Yeah, time is literally money in this game, treated like a resource. Um, before I would say VIP was definitely it. Um, let's see, what does VIP even offer? Silver for each battle. I'm just trying to see what it actually offers here. <laughs> they have player and operation experience points sometimes you know operations depending on like which one it is the resource one usually is really good value so like i would look at like ones like this but i'm not sure how much this one costs like this one was unlocked for the creators in the uh, creator program um what i would look like if you really are like looking for like resources especially to level up your step then i would say actually look at the operations So when you get a chance to champ at set time, then the same time or not much difference will apply currently. Yeah, a lot of players want to race to champion league. You know, the thing, I actually mentioned this to another player who was spending a lot on the game and they were like maxing out their stuff. I told them there is no race to get to champion league and I actually recommended that they don't max things out and slow things down because the thing is you can have maxed equipment and you think, oh, well, I'm max now. I got to the top. I'm champion league. I'm going to beat everyone. What they, what they didn't realize is that, you know, what I actually mentioned to them, what's going to end up happening is you're going to run into the really strong players. Now, the strong players, I don't necessarily mean that they are, like, max on everything and they have all the meta. It just so happens that, you know, some of these players, they, they do sometimes run mixed hangers. The thing is, these players are very experienced in the game. Like, they know when to attack. Their strategy is on point and they know how to play their bots. For someone who just maxes their account, like buys equipment and they think they're gonna win, they're gonna they're just gonna get slaughtered by those that actually are experienced. So one way to get that experience is to just slow things down, take it at your own pace, enjoy the game, and don't feel like you need to be maxed out. Cause I think that's one of the biggest mistakes you can make in this game is to just max everything out. You need to understand, like, yeah, when you get to the top, players are smarter. They'll be smarter than you. They play, they, they have a different style. They know all the counters to everything that you're running. And if you don't know how to do the same back, you're going to get wiped out. That's the part that, that players don't get. Twenty, twenty dollars, uh, twenty, well, twenty-one dollar Canadian for the operations. Yeah, it's very important that you take your time. This is actually why I recommend that it's almost like better that they raise the Champion League. 
uh, raise the cups even more so it takes players longer to get there. I know players don't like the idea because obviously they, they lose out on resources because they could have got that. But what they don't realize is that if you're going to race there, then you're going to get slaughtered because you just don't know how to play against those players. It's not because they are MK3. It's not, it's not what you think. You know, these guys are smart. You look at their drones, it's all been optimized for like maximum damage. You notice when they play, like especially in, in squads, they're very coordinated. They, uh, they start with certain bots. They have certain roles on the field. You, you no match against that. Solo players can actually, they can counter, you know, if they're very smart. But again, this is all down to experience. Uh, note, uh, note, uh, are you playing on Android? Right now I'm actually on iOS. But I do play on Android. I just don't have my PC yet. Yeah, Eric said he's been in Master League for about a year and you're content with that. I think the main thing, Eric, just have fun. Whichever bot you get, a new bot, enjoy it. <laughs> That's the main thing. You're gonna lose some games, it happens. You know, like I lose... I probably lost more games than I've won. Easily. It happens. It's just part of the game. Good games, Maverick. Your MK3 players with your MK1 account, m most of your bots not even max. They don't need to be max though, Golden, that's what I'm saying. You can kill MK2 and MK3, you don't need to be max. Players need to get rid of that, that mindset, you know, when I think that's one of their biggest hurdles. One of their biggest hurdles is that when they play, it's like, oh, this guy's MK2, MK3, I'm gonna lose, so I'm just gonna throw the game. <laughs> I mean, how do you, how do you expect to get stronger? You gotta outthink them. You gotta like say, okay, well, if this guy's going right, I'm gonna go left because I know he has stronger bots. So I'm gonna push his beacons. I'm gonna try run his beacon bot down, and then he doesn't get a chance to use that meta on me. So you start thinking smarter, and then you know, as you start leveling up, that's when you're gonna start to see it like amplifies. You really don't need that that account. I wish I had my my PC, then I could actually show you like gameplay where I did a duo squad with one of my my paid members. I've been helping him with like his account and we were playing like squad games. We played against like MK2, MK3 and we won some games. Sullivan, Pixar needs to do more tournaments to allow people to see how good some clan players really are. Yeah, <laughs> Sullivan, you know how it is. Players will say those guys are just paid to win, but then they realize, wait a minute, these guys are using Hangar X. And there are some clans that will just steamroll you. Like they know their map so well that <laughs> you'd be shocked. Because I remember when we, the last tournament when we were that we were in, the guys that we played, their positioning on the map was so on point. Like they had, for example, their sirens were up like on higher like higher ground on like abyss. Um, it wasn't just like all sirens. You know, they had a certain number of sirens, and they made pushes. It was very coordinated, and you know, in some of the games we got steamrolled in like three minutes. It's not because we suck, it's just because they were better prepared and they just knew the map really well. Their strategy was on point. You lose, but you know you win trophies. I guess it's pay to win trophies. Yeah, uh, packs, I don't really pay attention to. Honestly, I don't pay attention <laughs> to any of that stuff. Someone actually asked me about leaderboards, like, where are you on leaderboards? I'm like, I don't know, I don't even, you know, I don't even sometimes collect that stuff. Because I don't pay attention to it. I don't need the game to tell me like how to have fun or like where I should rank. I think if you use the game that way, then I think you're gonna be you're gonna be frustrated with the game. You're gonna hate it. War robots always was pay to win. Ah, you always get players that say that. The thing with players that say that usually you never see them enter tournaments, right? They have a lot to say, but then when it comes to them actually playing the game in a tournament where everyone has the same level stuff, you notice how they never enter. And if they do enter, then they get wiped out, and then it's always some other excuse. Uh, Maverick, how do you join tournaments? Well, usually there's tournaments that are announced, and then you have to enter um, like a squad. I think it's like 
you you have to have at least your six players and then there's like two substitutes or so and then you play during a period like they would have like one weekend i think it's actually more than one weekend it's like two or three weekends it depends on the tournament and then you play and then you you know everyone who participates which is free um everyone uses the exact same hangar exact same hangar exact same level everything and you compete like everything is free and then uh depending on where you place you get prizes but usually you get a prize just for participating <laughs> yeah you guys don't care about capturing beacons and then you complain about the people who buy to progress in the game <laughs> i know right it's so it's so annoying it's like if you don't it's like players complaining about matchmaking but then when you watch them actually play you're like so why didn't you get that beacon why did you get off the beacon <laughs> why didn't you sacrifice your bot to protect that beacon and you explain like you're saying like pay to win but then you getting your beacons you're giving the enemy like your beacon at least hold it down. Oh, Togi! Togi is there! Okay, so anyways guys, I have to get going. I'm gonna contact that guy on my PC, find out what the heck's going on. Takes forever. <laughs> Actually, guys, let me know, uh, you know, once the stream is done, you can let me know the, the chat or uh, the comment section whether you prefer more live streams. I might actually do a poll just to see because some have been enjoying these live streams lately. So, I don't know. I might kind of gradually switch to that. Although, I do prefer doing, like, videos just because it's more condensed. Maybe I can do a combination of them. Um, but, yeah, let me know in the, the comment section. And uh, before I get going, thank you very much to Dark Warrior, Lone, Smiley, Togi, Dominic, Kind, Jack, Goose, Frederick, and Hammer for helping to moderate today's live stream chat. Much appreciated. And if they have YouTube channels, make sure to check them out as well. And let's not forget those that have donated during the stream today. So, hold on a second. Let me just uh, bring this up. So, thank you very much to... Is it uh, Javid? Javid? Uh, Kill them all, kind, um, and Davis. So thank you so much, guys, for your donations. Much appreciated. And if they have YouTube channels, make sure to check them out as well. And if you happen to just drop by the live stream, unfortunately, we have uh, come to a close here at the end. But if you guys did watch the live stream, I hope you enjoyed today's live stream featuring... Uh, the Scorpion with Sonic Weapons. I think we're going to see more of these. They are very good counter to Seraphs. Um, it is one of the most feared bots, I would say, when it comes to... If you're in a Seraph, it's one thing that you have to pay attention to. It's kind of like how the Revenants were killing the Sirens. We're seeing similar thing now with the Scorpions. Although, I wouldn't be surprised if we start seeing more Revenants too. Just to counter the Seraphs. So this is one of the counters. It's not the only counter, just remember there's a lot more counters. I, I might cover more. If you want me to do that, I'll do that. Um, but yeah, hopefully you got some value out of this live stream. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up. And also consider subscribing if you haven't already. Uh, because I do believe there's going to be a giveaway. I just have to wait uh, for Pixonic. I uh, did contact them. I'm waiting for a response on what I can give away. So that will be coming up hopefully soon. And uh, with that said, thank you guys for watching. Stay safe. And until the next live stream, I will catch you guys later. Cheers, guys.